Last summer, I'd play softball with my cousins all day. I couldn't be on the school team, though. I have to work at the supermarket for the meanest boss in the world. He'll fire you if you come even two minutes late. And after that, I go home to take care of Claudia. Jessica usually stops by my job after practice or comes over later and tells me everything that happened. We're so close, like sisters. Mi padre la llama mi hermanita. She sees how much I have to do at home and how hard I work after school. I seriously don't know what I would do without her. But lately, she's been staying after practice because Carlos, the love of her life, joined the baseball team and the guys practice at the same field. I told my mom she has to go to Claudia's school and talk to her teachers. She brought home a note saying she's failing three classes and she's not going to pass the eighth grade. My parents don't get it. They want me to call the school. They tell me I have to call because their English isn't so good on the phone and they can miss work to talk in person. And besides, I need to make sure she does her homework. And on top of that, my mom wants me to get all straight A's and be the first one in my family to graduate high school. I know how much she means to them that we do good in school. It means a lot to me too. She believes in us. But with so much else going on. And where's Claudia? With her boyfriend, of course, doing God knows what. I swear, that girl is loca. When she gets in trouble, I get in trouble. It's always my fault. Jessica's not coming over. Carlos finally asked her out. I know what this means. I'm losing my best friend. I can't deal with everything on my own. What am I going to do? I want to disappear. The only thing Jessica talks about now is Carlos. They officially been going out for two weeks, but it feels like forever. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for her. I know she's like Carlos forever, but she doesn't even come over anymore. Then I found out I'm not passing history. I failed my midterm. I couldn't study for it because I had to work the night before. Then Claudia called, she got in a fight at school with some girls and got beat up real bad. She was at her principal's office and told me she was going to get suspended. What am I supposed to do? If I go get Claudia, I'll miss my shift at work. I'll get fired. How can everyone expect me to do it all anyways? They all want me to be the perfect daughter, get the perfect grades, on top of taking care of Claudia and being a cook and a cleaning lady. And working at the supermarket. I just don't want to deal with it anymore. I just, I don't even want to live anymore. It's not worth it. Yo me quiero matar. They will feel so bad at my funeral. My mom and dad and Jessica and everyone else. Everyone will realize how bad I felt all this time and feel guilty for making me do so much and take care of everything. I'll be gone for good. I went to get Claudia and her principal wouldn't talk to me because I'm not her parent. I knew this would happen. I went to work late and my boss told me to go home because I didn't have a job anymore. Jessica called me on my way home. She said she was skipping softball and she wanted to meet up with me. I told her I didn't feel good. 
but she said she really wanted to see me. The first thing Jessica said was that she was really sorry she hadn't spent much time with me lately. I didn't want her to feel bad, but I didn't have the energy to pretend like I didn't care. I just felt so bad about everything, and I knew Jessica could tell. There's only so much you can hide from your best friend. So Jessica goes on to say she's worried about something I said earlier, that I wanted to die. She thinks I should talk to someone about getting help to deal with Claudia and school and work and my parents. I told her that I actually thought about seeing the counselor, but I didn't want to. You can never really trust them. But then Jessica said I can't think about hurting myself. If I hurt myself, I hurt her too. We're like sisters. She's always gonna feel what I'm going through, even if she's not there all the time. Finally, it felt like I wasn't alone anymore. I know she's not gonna be there every minute, but I know she really does care about me. I'm going to go to the counselor for her. Well, and for me too. When Rosa starts to feel too overwhelmed to cope, her friend Jessica sees the warning signs and finds the courage to talk to her. If you're feeling overwhelmed too and thinking about hurting yourself, Call the number on the screen immediately and remember you're not alone.